Let's get to a morning mustard. We'll speak of John Nash here, tragically killed in a car accident uh, this weekend in New Jersey at 86 years. But right now, let's go right to a wonderful quote that tries to explain in English. This is Kenneth Chang in The New York Times. I thought this was brilliant. Explaining John Nash in equilibrium. The bar scene. With four men chasing four brunettes, any of the men could be tempted to chase the blonde instead. A more desirable outcome if his friends did not also chase the blonde as well. That explains about 70 years of controversial mathematics and game theory, which is a perfect jumping point to speak of this morning's merger of Charter and Time Warner. I'm sorry, Chris Morangi of Gabelli. This is all about game theory. Charter had to do this deal because they were inconsequential if they did not. Am I right? Well, Time Warner Cable was the blonde in the room. There, yeah. only, there are only so many women in the bar. Time Warner was the blonde. There was, they were the, really the only route to scale for either Charter or for Altice. I mean, all TC, the, the French Israeli uh, backed effort within that. And I, I guess it's just so darn important to understand sometimes people do mergers for reasons that aren't visible. Why did John Malone find $5 billion of cheap money to affect this transaction? Not a lot of places to put it. Cable is a great place to put it. Recurring revenue, uh, over, overblown fears about regulation and secular change. And, you know, these other hedge funds. And John have uh, committed. They put their money where their mouth is. And you get a, they get a preferred coupon like a Warren Buffett, I assume? I haven't read all the terms. But, yeah, uh, I understand. The terms just are just up. Yeah. I mean, I, but I, I think it's just fascinating here, the game theory involved. But it's also, I mean, we have John Nash in a way to thank uh, for the way we think about game theory, which is that, you know, it was a very highly, um, it, it, was, it was a mathematical way of looking at things in the 1950s when uh, von Neumann really started writing about it. Um, and uh, it was John Nash who made it, in a way, more, more acceptable to economists, more, more uh, as, as a principle, easier to grasp. He had a 32-page paper at age 20. One. And there's a huge controversy here at Princeton, where this is a cottage industry. Avinash Dixit is there, mm -hmm. who wrote The Art of Strategy. I remember uh, interviewing him on, on that. But as you say, it's a part of everything we do now. I look at it as like, what's behind the curtain? It's almost like Wizard of Oz game theory. What's behind the curtain of this transaction? Well, listen, if, they hadn't, if Charter hadn't done this deal, uh, they would be left sort of middling scale. It's all about scale in this industry. You need subscribers to mm. combat the programmers, to fund technology development. Comcast has it, and they've been executing very well with the scale. Charter needs it. Okay. Okay, within the uh, tragedy of the weekend, John Nash of Princeton, uh, dead at 86 with his wife. I flew back from Abu Dhabi once with Mr. Nash, his wife and his son, and I can just tell you the graciousness as people wandered into first class to meet with him. He was uh, not the most outgoing individual, but he had a huge graciousness trapped in an airplane. John Nash uh, is dead at 86.